started here quick five minute video you guys remember the guy Whoa. who did the uh yeah. you guys who remember the video that uh of the night saber remake well in honor of uh Ulduar opening we have an update to the memoron's head mount memoron's head was one of the coolest mounts in the game back when it came out getting that was a was a badass thing to get and uh the same guy who redid the night saber you guys remember the death knight night saber and all that shit this is the same guy he redid memoron's head and i have not seen this yet and i'm excited to see it so let's check this out, and as soon as it's over, we're forming up Raid. Well, it happened, gamers. I gave myself a week to remake Mimran's head and turn it into a video. Did I make it in time? I don't know yet, but I hope it did. Hype, I am- Oh, 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 oh. My bad. I gave myself a week to remake Mimran's head and turn it into a video. Did I make it in time? I don't know yet, but I hope it did. Uh, yeah, some, with, some of the corruption was okay. I appreciate OP. every oh, single view, but a lot of people skip to the end on these videos, which might turn out to be the death of my channel. I do my best to make the videos worth <laughs> Come watching. Come on, guys, watch the whole hard. video. If you appreciate what I do, dropping a like and maybe a comment would make a serious difference. Of course. Now, as you're undoubtedly aware, Oldowar is releasing a Wrath Classic, widely regarded as the best rate in the history of the game. Hat Throne of Thunder suck. This comes with some hype. Hype I am eager to leech off. As with every video at this point, I take the original model and try my best to salvage what is there, in order to save myself the annoying work of using reference images. I'm going to continue to say this in every video. The fun part of these His old work is that amazing, they a lot man. of details that the artist was forced to simply paint onto a 2D plane for performance reasons. If you're using these mounts in-game, you're very unlikely to have ever noticed that the wings have pistons. You're even less likely to give a fuck. Oh, However, I, I, do. I didn't know. Since I live in 2023 <laughs> and don't have a lead artist female dogging at me, I get to liberate them from the 2D space and bring them to life. Whereas Classic WoW was developed for the processing power of a fire alarm, by the time Wrath came out, True. actual computers had been invented. This means higher res textures, which means more texture space, which means right, fewer right, components right. reusing the same parts of this. Yeah, you got to remember, a lot of these old mounts were created for computers that were running like Intel integrated graphics cards, right? Like nobody had a fucking, the power of a 3080 or 4080 they didn't exist back then. So uh, give Blizzard some slack at the fact that a lot of these mounts don't look this good. But what this guy does to these mounts is unbelievable. Yeah, you get it. This meant that I could keep a lot of the texture layout the same as in the original model, meaning the original textures would still fit in my updated version. And I could reuse some parts of it as groundwork for the new textures, saving me time on the stupid, uninteresting parts. Fun little experiment. The texturing was going to be a test of my abilities. In my McKenna Strider video, you're watching me begin my journey as a hand painting texture artist. For pretty much all my videos since then, I had the geometry of the model to guide a lot of the texturing. For this model, however, the face, which happens to also be the vocal point, contains a bunch of 3D details, which I would need to paint onto a flat 2D surface. In other words, Damn, this is gonna look badass. actual skill. Seeing as I'm a junior artist, my workflow boils down to fuck around until it looks good, which is kind of a mix between a one size fits all fuck around and a one until size it looks fits good. nothing approach. But I did what I do. I don't want to spend too much time auto filating over the fact that I pulled it off, so I'll just hope that the comments will do so for me like a thousand nibbling guppies. When time came around to texture the interior, I would get to see how well my idea of painting over the old textures would work. I could have spent time messing around with AI image upscaling for the original textures to see if I could get a higher res base and maybe need to spend even less time painting. But I could also just not Guaranteed the inside used to look like option. shit. Reason being, laziness. And I wanted to get some better practice painting over old textures. Because mastering this could potentially save me time during the most boring parts of the process on future models. Another reason that I wanted to practice this method of painting over the original is that armor sets, even from classic, do not have any parts that share the same texture space. Meaning the retexturing really? could, in theory, pretty much entirely be approached this way. If, with some practice, painting Man, over this old is textures already looking would be so swift good. as I hoped it would be, well, I think you can put two and two together. I first started farming this mount during Mists of Pandaria, the days when popular who, who hasn't farmed this Zekrar mount? still made guides on how your transmog contributed to your DPS, and when we all still thought <laughs> that making an expansion after a popular DreamWorks a good transmog does contribute to DPS, that is still true. Animated film would be an experiment to not see itself replicated. I farmed and I farmed, like a boomer with a new phone. After many months, I still didn't get it. Even after I found I out still that I was supposed to farm Yoxeron, not Mimarin, for Mimarin's fucking head, I was still left unlucky. Yeah, I, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll admit that um, I also thought Mimarin's head drops from Mimarin. And to this day, sad as it is, I still don't have this mount that I probably wouldn't use anyway. Did anyone ask? No. But like I said, I have about a week to make this whole video, and I don't know what to talk about. I would have had a look at the lore behind the mount, but there is none. 
but enough lollygagging. <laughs> it's just a head. My friends and enemies, I present to you. This proudly, is the old one. Much like a cat leaving a decomposing rodent on your doorstep, possibly riddled with diseases. Let's go. Open your mouth for the what air. What does it look like? Half babies, for the one and only, the new and updated, Mimarin's head. Here we go. These videos are so good. <laughs> it would be a gnome tinkering around that would make this happen. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, it's sexy. It does look good. The old propellers. Oh, wow. That's a fucking huge difference. When he does the side-by-side -side like that, you can see a huge difference. Look at the little uh, bobbling arrow there. That's, that's a beautiful mount. I never realized the old one didn't have propellers on the sides. It just has the discs. Yeah, looks great. I wish he showed the interior more. He's got he's got a bunch of stuff going on on the interior here. Uh, you could see it kind of bobbling around. Look at the little... It's like a gauge. Look at it bobbling around. It looks so good. Holy crap, man. That is a good looking mount. That is a good looking mount. This guy does great stuff. If you haven't if you haven't followed him yet or subbed to him, definitely do it. I want to support this guy because uh, I love his content and I want him to keep making content. Here's the I'm gonna link the YouTube uh, the YouTube to you guys so you guys can get in there and uh, like like and comment. Uh, a beautiful, but it would probably you know what? Let me do it on my actual. Uh, my actual channel. Hold on. Switch account. Well, it happened, gamers. I gave myself a week. There we go. I'm gonna comment on it on my actual uh, channel. Beautiful. But it would probably never drop for me. There we go. Because we all know that shit don't drop. That shit don't drop for me. I don't get I don't get mounts. I never get mounts. 